Hey guys, it's Psycho Hawk here, and welcome to an episode of Career Mode. Um, today we have a huge, uh, very interesting episode. As uh, if you remember, in the last episode we left off with this game against Man City in the Capital One Cup. Uh, yet to play. It's a replay. It's in the semi-final of the League Cup or the Capital One Cup. The first one was a tie at the Etihad Stadium, three-three, which meant that I had three away goals. And uh, basically meaning that, uh, you know, a 1-0 win would do for me or even a 1-1 or 2-2 as I would still be ahead on away goals. But, um, you know, I was going for the win like, you know, you always do. And, uh, and uh, you know, I was really excited to play this at Old Trafford. You know, I had the home advantage, which seriously seems to be uh, part of FIFA 13. I didn't really feel it in FIFA 12, but I seriously, not just in simming, but uh, even when I play, I seriously feel a difference between home and away games uh but uh, even so man uh, city were looking really dangerous this game is right off the bat there and uh you know seem much more dangerous than in the first game and bearing in mind the fact that they scored three against me in the first game i was quite concerned that uh, they might run rampant here but um you know it, it wasn't all bad as uh lucas uh, here uh loses the ball quite sadly but uh Hummels here doing some good containing there. And, uh, you know, the Fellaini managed to get ahead of that ball. And it falls to Nani, who puts in a great ball through to Robin Van Persie, who's running with the ball. You know what's coming. The sweat. <laughs> Marco Royce puts in the sweaty goal in an important game like this semifinal. You know, you can't really complain about those shitty-ass goal, shitty goals. So, um yeah. You know, and I was really glad to be 1-0 up. You know, kind of caught my nerves and... Uh, Especially, like I said, City had been very dangerous this game. So, uh, it was uh, really um, good to get that goal. And, uh, you know, from then on, I, I went on defensive. And, uh, you know, but uh, City were City were the better team, to be fair. But that draws to halftime. We were still 1-0 up, which was really good. And uh, we were going to try and sustain that lead throughout the second half. And, um, you know, City had to score two goals if they wanted to go through. But uh, they did look dangerous there. Samir Nasri with a good shot. I was scared that was going to go in just because near post is so OP. But uh, thankfully, it didn't. And again here, Guidetti, apparently someone that they've got, uh, puts in a shot just wide of the post. So uh, I was under humongous pressure here. But to be fair, my defense and my goalkeeper were coping quite well with everything. And... Um, you know, uh, they had to make some substitutions here. Samir Nasri coming off, going to his beloved home, which is the bench. And uh, <laughs> uh, Jack Rodwell coming on. And, uh, you know, some good news here. Never see nice to see players injured. But Scott Sinclair, who caused me so much trouble in the first game, uh, was off injured. Which, uh, you know, was uh, sad to see. But, uh, again, I was kind of glad because he's one of those players that can really hurt you. Brought on Pogba, Thompson, and uh, Muniain. Yeah, Muniain, I think. And, uh, you know, some might say that a little risky. You know, why make such risky changes? But then again, I, you know, the fitness was an issue. And uh, nah, I just felt that I could maybe even get away with it, even though I was under such pressure. But um, they have a corner here in the 80th minute. Another really pressuring, as you can see, David Silva gets the ball. And I'm just throwing bodies in front of the ball. And uh, their Balotelli gets a shot off thankfully doesn't manage to put it into the back of the net and uh you know and uh, we're into the 90th minute and 90th minute scripting is such a big thing in fifa and um you know if you're in the 90th minute and you're winning 1-0 then then you ugh. do i do i even have to, do do i have to commentate this that's my question look at that what the fuck the hell in any other moment or, or time he would have caught that easily this time he decides to be a total bitch and just drop it i mean what the fuck what the actual fuck happened thankfully however it did not cost us because uh we had more away goals we had three away goals and they had one away goal okay yeah sorry i had to cut uh, cut the voice over there because that was my phone uh i hope you like my ringtone by the way but uh yeah uh it didn't matter we had three away goals they had one away goal which meant that we would be going through into the capital one cup or the league cup final against fulham who had beat reading three nil so with all due respect, no offense to any Fulham fans, not the greatest of teams I could have come up against. When you see, I could have come up against City, 
Um, I'm not even going to mention Liverpool because they're shit. But, uh, <laughs> and, um, but yeah, we were going to come up against Fulham. And, uh, you know, that was cool. But uh, anyway, Chicharito is gone. And I had mixed feelings about this. But I, I was glad to take the 20 million and see him go. Because, you know, to be fair, I never thought he was that a good player. And uh, we go into transfer deadline day, which was probably one of the most boring transfer deadline days of my life. Um, we're already in January. We're in 2014. And uh, we advance here. And De Gea accepted his new offer, which was nice to see. So he's getting a little more money, but that was fine. And Tom cleverly has dropped the bombshell. No matter what contract we put on the table for his client, he won't be signing it. And that was obviously very, very, very disappointing. But uh, I decided I'd go into contracts and see if I could, you know, change his little mind there and see, not make him, not let him be such an asshole. And you know what? I was like, all right, fine. I'll offer you what you want, 70K and one year. You know, he wants it. I want to keep him. And, uh, you know, to be fair, he's, he's, a, he's a good player, you know. And uh, I wouldn't say he's definitely one of the best players in my club, but he is a, he's a good rotation option to have. And I wanted to keep him. So I offered him that contract. But as you can see, absolutely nothing happened during transfer deadline day in terms of my transfers. And that was actually kind of a fail here, as you can see. And then my career mode froze, and I was scared that I was going to die or something. Uh, but I finally came away, and... Um, yeah, I just went into my youth academy and look at these players. That guy's 77 to 94 and 78 to 93, guys. They're going to be amazing. Uh, so uh, more on that later. But uh, we have a home game here in the FA Cup against Peterborough. And obviously, I was not bothered to play one of these. And uh, I was at home. I was so confident I was going to win. And look at that. 6-0. Will Keane twice. Lucas three times. And Mooney Ayn once uh, to give us a 6-0 win over Peterborough, which is quite amazing in all fairness. And, um, you know, that was really nice to see. And uh, uh, that that just gave my team extra confidence. We were in the League Cup semifinal. We were we went through very, very easily in the FA Cup. And, uh, you know, we weren't doing that bad in the league either. Uh, also, apparently here, uh, uh, we had a player returning from loan. I think it was McGinty. McGinty? McGinty? Yeah, I think Sean McGinty uh, came back from loan. But then, look at this. So I'm cleverly, I'm really behind this club now, and as such, I've signed a new contract that was offered. It's great to get him to stay at this club. So apparently it was all about the money for Tom Cleverly. <laughs> so uh, apparently uh, when he said it doesn't matter what contract I will be signing, he lied. If I signed him a good contract, then he would, you know, take it. <laughs> but uh, we have a league game here against Stoke, and again, I, for some reason, I just wasn't bothered to play. But I needed to get the gameplay, and we win 3-0, which was fabulous. Van Persie, Aguero, and Jordi Alaba, the new left back, getting his first uh, uh, goal for the club. Richards there picking up a red card. But uh, either way, just to wrap up this episode, we have some international friendlies with Brazil, which obviously I wasn't bothered to play. There we beat Sweden 3-1, and I think we beat Uruguay. And um, as well, we, yeah, we beat them 4-1, which was great to see. But uh, yeah, it's been Psycho Horror Care. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please leave a like. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys all have a good weekend. And I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm so bad at signing off. <laughs> all right, see you later.